What is going on YouTube? Working on another custom today, and today I'll be working on... Oh yeah, this flat out 442. Check this thing out. This is one of my most favorite castings of all time. And I had one of these when I was a kid. I uh, always liked the race car aspect of it. And this is pretty much a version of the Olds Cutlass 442. Very cool car. And uh, really excited to be working on this one. I think I got a pretty cool idea. This one's a little bit beat up. It's seen some uh, pretty good play time. Got some decent chips in the paint there and everything. But uh, I think I got a cool idea for this one. So let's get started. So something about these old cars that uh, you don't really have to worry about on the newer ones is this post. So on the older cars, they're kind of rounded and flat like that. And if you just go to drill it out, your drill bit's probably going to slip off there and cause you all kinds of problems. So you compare that to one of the newer castings and... Uh, these posts are definitely a little bit easier to drill out. You just stick the drill bit in there and uh, get going, but it takes a little bit more work on these old ones. So what you do, go ahead and get your trusty little punch ready. Make sure you're as centered as you can get and put a little, put a little hole in there so your drill bit can follow that and have something to bite into. All right, got the post all drilled out. Fortunately, there's only one post that holds this all together with the uh, front bumper and front grille holding the front of the car together. So let's take this apart and see what we're working with here. Oh yeah, check that out. This is actually in really good shape. Interesting little way they uh, put everything together there. So that's for the rear glass. And uh, looks like it holds in the windshield and uh, everything else. It's kind of cool. A little different there. And check out that interior. A little roll cage going on. And a little hood scoop. So, very cool. And there is our base. Check that out. It's got the same base that was in the Marauder Stalker I did. And uh, very cool. Got the little front headlights there and everything. Pretty sweet. Looks like we're in pretty good shape there. So, first things first. Let's go get all this orange paint off of here. As usual, citrus strip stripping gel is what I use to take the paint off. It uh, worked really well for me. Uh, some people strongly suggest the aircraft stripper. I haven't used it yet. Uh, it works a heck of a lot faster than the citrus strip. So if you're in some sort of hurry or uh, just don't have a lot of time or for whatever reason you want to get the paint off uh, here really fast, that is the stuff to use. The citrus strip uh, takes a little while to use, but it's kind of not as abrasive and harsh. Uh, especially when you're sitting here and you're smelling all the chemicals and all that stuff. So you still need to be careful with it because you get it on your skin and you leave it on there too long. It will give you a chemical burn, which I have had. But uh, yeah, nice even coat all over the car. And on this older paint, it should cut in there pretty quick. But uh, I think we're good to go right there. Let's uh, let that sit for a little bit and come back when it's ready to take the paint off. All right. Our 442 is looking all crusty and nasty. So let's work on getting all this paint off of there. This is actually some pretty thick paint on there. I'm curious to see what kind of shape this body is in after uh, all this paint is removed all right well looks like uh, the citrus strip got most of it off there's a couple 
stubborn areas where I'm going to have to reapply the citrus strip, I think, and uh, let that cut in there a little bit better. So, especially on these edges, for some reason, it's uh, being stubborn. But uh, I'll clean that off, and uh, we'll be right back. Let's take a look at this base. Oh, man. This is not good. So, for these ones anyway, the wheels and axles are held in a little bit differently than what's on your regular Hot Wheel. And mounting them in there the way they do helps prevent them from bending. I mean, they're still pretty susceptible to bending, but uh, this is a better way to uh, hold them in there. I think I'm going to have to cut them out. So, let's see. <laughs> So it's not the prettiest, but we got it out of there. And look at these. These are nasty. I don't think there's going to be anything I can do to really save them, unfortunately. But, oh well, I was planning on doing a wheel swap anyway. So, now time to cut out the front. just like that oh yeah these are these have definitely seen better days not too bad that's the best way to get uh, wheels out of a metal base is to use that, use that little cutter so there we go I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time cleaning this up I think a brass brush, and right now all I'm using is just some uh, Dawn. Trying to get all the grease and stuff off this, but uh, this is going to take a long time. So I think there's all some kind of paper that's in here. I might just let that soak in water for a while and uh, let all that paper get soft and float away. I got the base all cleaned up and I just went over it with some soap and water and I thought it cleaned up really nice. So I didn't have to spend a whole lot of time trying to polish it or anything like that. And I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's going to go well with uh, what I got planned here. I also put some new wheels on there. These things are pretty sweet and I think they're going to go really well with the paint scheme I have planned. And the interior, again, I just went over it with some soap and water. It was in really good shape, and so I didn't have to mess with it very much. And it uh, cleaned up really nice. And for the windshield, I went over it with some flits. This stuff is fantastic, especially if you're going to be using it to polish metal, plastic, or fiberglass. Went over the windshield with it. I couldn't get all the scratches out there. It, uh, it's got a really big gouge in that right side, but uh, it actually helped out quite a bit. But after I went over it with the flits, I dunked it in the glass coat gauzy agent, and this stuff is amazing. I think uh, using the two in conjunction of each other really helps out a lot. And uh, it turned out really, really nice. Look at that. It's almost perfectly clear other than that little gouge there but anywho really happy with uh, this stuff I highly recommend both of them flits and glass coat gauzy agent and I think we're about ready to put this car all back together all right so I got the car all put back together let's see how it all turned out Oh yeah, check that out. I think it looks pretty cool. I really like the way those wheels look with the casting and the paint. And uh, I wanted to stay true to the original design of the car. So I kept the original decals and just tried to do a little update on the paint with the burnt orange color going on there. I used the Duplicolor metal cast colors, and I think it turned out really well. There's a couple little flaws in the roof. Had a gouge in the metal I couldn't really get out, and uh, 
my primer didn't cover it well enough but overall i think everything turned out really really well i got these decals off of ebay from sc redlines they have a uh, 164 redlines decal section where uh, you can find all sorts of decals for some old red lines and some older uh, Hot Wheels cars such as the 442 and everything. So really happy with the way this turned out and uh, yeah, very cool. Let's go take a closer look. So here's what we started out with. A well played with, but still in actually pretty decent shape. Flat out 442. And here's what I came up with. This is kind of my attempt at updating the flat out 442 and giving it a little modern paint job with some nicer wheels and i think it turned out pretty well i don't think it turned out quite as well as some of the more recent customs i've done but i'm still pretty happy with it unfortunately my lighting doesn't really show off that orange paint as well as i'd like it to you put this stuff out in the sun and it looks amazing kind of looks a little brownish in uh, my photos and stuff but I think it all still goes together pretty well this racing version of an Olds Cutlass 442 was introduced by Hot Wheels as the flat out 442 in 1979 and it was originally released in the original orange color that we saw earlier it was also available in the crisscross crash set and Hot Wheels board game this casting has kind of had a limited release, only being available six years, 79 and 80, and then from 1982 to 84, and then 2012. Despite that, you can find quite a few of these over on eBay, ranging in various prices. So there it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and we will see you on the next one.